फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गॉड्स वर्ड इज गॉड्स विल फॉर अस सो वॉट एवर इज इन द वर्ड ऑफ गॉड दैट मीन्स द जनरल विल ऑफ गॉड इज really revealed to us in the word of god clearly whatever is in the uh, word of god that means actually to become conformed to jesus likeness to have deeper fellowship with him to become like him not to do my own will that means actually what myself says about exalting myself and uh, what to say fulfilling my desires but rather to do god's will what is uh, clearly revealed in the revealed in the word of god to obey his commandments and all so that is the general will of god then about the specific will of god for our each of our lives uh you know of course uh, we need to have the inner witness of the holy spirit so that for that a blessed verse is romans 8:6 uh, mind set on the spirit is life and peace so if our mind is set on the holy spirit there will be a life and peace in that direction so that means actually if there are especially when we are taking a decision uh, there are some three or four choices that we have so probably you know for the marriage proposal for deciding the job placement so many other things and all uh, especially many important decisions very uh, decisions that can become a turning point in our lives so we need, uh, we can pray about each of that option we can uh, of course collect as much information that we can have about is choice and uh, we can tell the lord lord it is not my will that i want to do i want to do your will alone and uh, when we humble ourselves and uh, uh, you know give ourselves to the lord as a living sacrifice what will happen is that the holy spirit will flood us and when we uh, pray about one particular choice and uh, we do not feel a peace and a you know prompting of the holy spirit in that direction but we feel more and more lack of peace when we pray about that particular choice then we can infer from that that there is not indicative of god's will so but when we are praying for another particular option god is uh, you know there is a freedom in our spirit that uh, freedom in our spirit uh, you know we need to learn to sense over years by practice by listening to the lord through the word of god daily we learn to become familiar with the inner voice of the holy spirit the voice of our shepherd the lord jesus so when the lord is uh, leading us in one particular direction uh, we know that uh, the lord is that is indicative of the lord's will there will there is a surge of life and peace in that particular direction and many a time actually the lord would be arranging the circumstances also congenial to that but there can be exceptions where the, there will be uh, circumstances opposite to that by the devil or Uh, you know the lord himself probably tests us to see whether we really want to do his will even if there are adverse circumstances but we know in our heart of hearts that the lord is uh, lord has revealed this will to us even against the circumstances we can pray for that and uh, uh, you know god can remove uh, the obstacles in his own time and of course another uh, thing that can guide us is the advice of godly counselors godly elders godly uh you know spiritually minded people who are who are really genuinely concerned about our welfare we can ask their opinion so they would have much more experience than us in knowing the word of god as well as uh, you know considering all the factors many multiple factors which we ourselves may not know in our immaturity so that counsel of godly people you know in much counsel there is victory it says there in proverbs so advice of godly counselors so overall the word of god uh, the general will of god and for the specific will of god uh, you know uh, the inner witness of the holy spirit with the life and peace the god, lord is guiding us then advice of godly counselors but um, you know so, uh, you know uh, uh, really godly counselors really godly people they won't thrust or force their opinions on us but they will say that this is what i feel but you can decide uh, you know how uh, on how the lord leads you and then circumstances can be positive or negative sometimes actually you know the lord will be opening up the circumstances and we know that it is the lord is opening the circumstances and uh, the lord is opening the right doors he, uh, he can open a door which no one can shut and he can shut a door which no one can open revelation 3 7 we read there so uh, uh, you know with the circumstances through the circumstances also lord can uh, you know you can uh, lord can show us and uh, sometimes actually even if uh, we are so clear about lord's will sometimes the circumstances can be adverse for the time being but we can pray and wait for the lord 
and the Lord can clarify to us what his will is. So, like that we can know how the Lord is guiding us. Uh, Romans 12.2 says that, uh, you know, do not be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may know what is the perfect will of God. So, Romans 12.1 says about being a living sacrifice to the Lord. Living, giving ourselves as a living sacrifice to the Lord then verse 2 says about proving the perfect will of God so only if we give ourselves as a living sacrifice to the Lord then only we can avoid ourselves from being transformed to the uh, conformed to the world and be transformed into uh, transformed into Lord's likeness by the renewing of mind through the word of God and we can prove the will of God so you know, uh, Romans 12, 1 says about worship of God and Romans 12, 2 says about will of God. So, only if we are a true worshipper, we can really prove ourselves to be a pro uh, really a doer of the will of God. So, that is the balance. Uh, you know, if we are not a true worshipper, we just want to know what God's will, then that may not, uh, you know, God may not reveal uh, that to us. But if we are really eager to do God's will, uh, there in John 7, 17 also that uh, verse Jesus says, if anybody is willing to do his will, then he will know of the teaching. John 7, 17, if anyone is willing to do his will, he will know of the teaching, whether it is of God or whether I speak from myself. So, if we are willing, really wanted, wanting and longing to do God's will, we will know what is really of uh, God and what is not of God. God will give us that discernment and guidance through the word of God, uh, sometimes actually even through specific uh, words God can speak to us, sometimes it is the leading of the Holy Spirit, sometimes it is through circumstances, sometimes it is with the help of godly counsel, uh, counsel from elderly, uh, you know, uh, spiritually minded people. So like that, uh, God can reveal to us His will.